Hello, it's John Wanoa here. It's uh, five o'clock in the morning. The flag went up on the Titi Marae uh, grounds in Tauranga Tera here, Tupunas, 
and they uh, just raised the Whakaputanga flag for the 1835 Declaration of Independence Day, which is today. Um, so I'm here on the north side of the Tauranga Tira, the Tupunas Memorials here, and I'm uh, here to get the blessings from these Tupunas uh, to go to Westminster with the Paramount Chiefs of that flag. Uh, now, I missed the um, hui yesterday because I was stuck in Hokianga. Went to a hui there with the chiefs, and um, but how unfortunately I got stranded there. That's why I didn't make it here. And um, they're waiting for me, but anyway, I'm here now. And um, I've missed the part of making my presentation yesterday. And uh, I want to ask these um, ancestors here um, my own um, presentation to you that I'm going with the Paramount Chiefs, Bundy Waitai, Hiruini Karaka, and Manahi Parapara Mohini to take this flag to Britain and to make themselves known that um, they have finally um, matched up themselves to that flag and its real purpose <coughs> to you um, rangatiras here, Tauranga that I'm here today with my presentation to you in person here and the flag raising here at five o'clock in the morning on the 28th of October 2017. I'm presenting myself in front of you in the Hapu and Fano, having their karakias and their waiatas to you. So I'm standing here on the north side to tell you that I'm following Mohi Manakau and uh, his ancestors, Rewhere from Manukau and Tira Waikato Whare Here Here in Manukau, back to 1820 to 1834, King George IV and his private contract, commercial alliance with the two chiefs, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here. Here in Manukau, Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau Paramount Chief, and also the Paramount Chief Hongi Hika. Uh, they went to England to um, get the help of the British Crown to come and save their country, and that is what happened. Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau made a contract with King George IV in 1820 to 1830. And then King William IV took that title with Refere for Manukau and continue it to this day with this flag, 1834, the 20th of March, 1834, to um, Okiato Magistrate Court in Kororareka. The British first made this flag, the flag of New Zealand, it still is in our eyes. And so we are putting its authority back onto Tauranga Tira here in front of you today and me, Hoani Kahaki Wānoa, is the surrogate King William IV, the surrogate King George IV, the surrogate King William III, the surrogate King George IV in his commercial trading bank magistrate court partner, Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau. And so that's the story I'm bringing to you today. A big secret is out. And Bundy, Waitai, Cook Island, Tahitian, uh, for Hongi Hika, uh, his ancestor, and Manahi Parapara Mohini, descendant of Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau, Moriori, Paramount Chief, 
in Hiriwini Karaka, a British um, Shawin clerk representing the British Navy and military in the present partnership with the First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, British Royal Navy. Now the story is we're going back to 1820 while the prayers are going on over there to the flag uh, ceremony and we've got woken up this morning at four o'clock to prepare for this historic occasion here in Te Timarai Waitangi, Pai here, Bear Islands, New Zealand. So uh, I wanted to come here and speak to you. You won't see me on the camera because the light is bad, but I'm coming in the front now. If you see me, that's fine. But I'm wearing the eight-point star of St. Patrick um, on my hat as being the sheriff for you, Tauranga Tira, and your ancestors, your descendants, Bandi, Waitai, Manahi, Parapara Mohini, and Hiriwini Karaka. Hiriwini Karaka is an um, ex-war veteran uh, of the 28th Maori Ballot Battalion, and he says the 28th today marks that occasion as a um, 90 years old. And so he's taking this um, um, mantle that I'm uh, with them as executor of the Moriori Manukau Trust uh, in Edinburgh, Scotland. That's where Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau made the deal, um, the sale and purchase agreement with King George IV through uh, Lieutenant um, William Simons, uh, 23rd Regiment of the British Royal Navy in um, Scotland, Edinburgh, Scotland. So uh, that's uh, connecting the history there of a partnership in Admiralty Magistrate Court from Edinburgh Magistrate Court directly to Awaroa Magistrate, Native Magistrate Court in Helensville, that's the Manukau and uh, Rogan Freemasons there that um, started off the Magistrate Court and the bank inside the Magistrate Court. There are three Magistrate Courts uh, that you know of, your ancestors here, um, to New Zealand. The first one was in Okiato Native Magistrate Court, uh, where they gave this flag on the <coughs> 20th of March, 1834. Uh, that's the legacy that I'm doing here for these Paramount Chiefs and their ancestors and the 13 Chiefs. Um, so um, um, that's Napui, particularly Napui and Moriori um, chiefs uh, exclusively straight to Britain and I'm doing the British, British real estate titles and bank um, transactions, land transactions and um, jurisdictions of Admiralty Bank law uh, to make sure you ancestors here hear me out that I have a presentation in my bag. I'll be standing here today in the daylight to recite what I've put together for you uh, to take to England and uh, with those Paramount Chiefs, the three of them. And um, Hedewini Kraka is um, um, well um, uh, up to it and also others uh, who are finding out the truth about the flag and its real purpose as a declaration of war flag at 1834 back to 1820, Hongihika, uh, was instrumental in the, that legacy of muskets and the war part, while Te Rawaikato Wharehirehire in Manukau was instrumental to, um, to the um, transactions and the legal paperwork um, for uh, the sale and purchase of New Zealand Pacific Islands. That's what I'm doing in real estate, proficient in real estate and qualified to um, open those books up uh, that Mohi Manukau left me with his legacy with the Freemasons and they are the legal owners of all the instruments of uh, banks and transactions of land.
and property. Uh, so I'm doing that for you, Ranga Chiris here. Um, and um, it's my pleasure to be here today with you and to make my presentation today to the Taumata and to the Chiefs um, later on since I missed it yesterday but I will make my best efforts to do that for you. So, no reda, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Uri mai. I'm going over to the uh, flag ceremony raising and to take up my place as um, a rangatira for you in the live and the legal and uh, put the legal back into the flag. That's been missing, it hasn't had its legal in it until now. So I'm just saying um, I want to take this to England uh, with your blessings to get them recognised the flag and us, its um, holders and the um, declaration of war flag, the bank flag and the Admiralty uh, Court Martial Law and also the um, Native Magistrate Courts, which we have put together, those together for you. And uh, so it's my, my honour to be here with you on this day of remembrance, 183 years exactly today, uh, since the, um, uh, this year, since the 20th of March, 1834. So uh, I want to thank you for having me stand here with you and the procession that's going on in the background on today, 28th of October 2017 in Titi Marae um, grounds and um, the procession going on here I'm part of every year. Thank you very much.
Mo rere ke ai ko te tene faka moi miti faka fetai. Ya ko wene manaki tanga i fefene mata mai ngara ki muri tana maki te nira. Ke faka uge mai ta arwa no ki ringe mata ngo waka toa. Ma ora i ho ke roto ke tau toko ai ne ake ne ai. Ko ai te faka moi miti tori te kau mari mai te matu e te rangi. E te matu i te rangi. No, in 1995 something happened here. Hardly any of you fellas know it because it wasn't pushed out on the media. But this little married boy was here. And in 1995 the whole government was arrested here in Waitangi. Jim Bolger and his government, all his, all, all the associates were arrested because of something that happened here. That's the politicalness of what we're doing here today. 
They were arrested up here up the hill here, and they were taken down the road here for two weeks. I was here. The military was here. The military has been left here for our, for, for our use because we don't have military force. We don't have any force. Controlled force, they call it. So they left military force here through the whakaputanga, what he's reading here today. Article 3. So they left him here for our protection. We're not using the tools because there's so many British subjects over here. They couldn't take them back. Because knowing they were all criminals, they turned around and they made an agreement. I'll leave my people here, but you're not going to give them occupation. They haven't got occupation from you yet. And then we're going to, in, in, honor, in, in doing that, so because they're all criminals, I'm going to leave you the military. You're going to use these standing orders over on my people because you don't have a military, you don't have any policing institutions. And in 1995, for myself, I saw it right here, happening right here in Waitau. They arrested Jim Board, all his government, took them down the road here for two weeks, held them under house arrest. I was there. And right throughout that whole two weeks, the military had covered this whole, this whole motor. <coughs> <and> the <coughs> the cops on oh, some big motors down the road. It's not there anymore, anyway. Anyways, they held them under the house arrest for two weeks. And I went down there every day for two weeks. Oh, you're not allowed in here, boy. All the crooks are here. Yeah, no, they're locked in here. Anyways, throughout that two weeks, they landed here from England, right into New Zealand here, quiet as. They did their business and they left. And then after that, Jim Bolger disappeared. Jim Bolger turned up on CNN News early hours of the morning with Bill Clinton. Jim Bolger standing behind Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton says this to Jim Bolger. Have you got the right to govern New Zealand? He goes, no. So they walked off. And we're still in that position today. Labour National, they still haven't got that right. Because you haven't given them the land-based mandate yet. Because we haven't got it together. The tent over there is the administrative side of this thing. We're trying to do administration to take control of all the things, building the final hapu records, putting things into order. I want to create things in order. The moment we're the humans, we're out of order. We're out of water. The answer has come before us and it's left, but it's on paper now. T.W. Ratan prophesied one of these books. He prophesied to the Fenwa Māori. And in there, it's a guide to our future, not to our future, to our mokopunas, to build our own internals. We have the right to take over this government, but we need to be prepared because we haven't given them the land-based mandate. Just giving a verbal mandate, that doesn't work. Hmm. So it's just flowing on the air. <coughs> we still have to run to this to the sort because the Privy Council has already determined that all land is still customary land. There's no such thing yeah, as general right. land, no such thing as shares. Yeah. We're just caught up in the confusion. Shares <laughs> mean money, money in Mother Earth. Buy, sell, and exchange. That's where the shares come from. They came from those fellows in Wellington. But they the settlers, they called them. They created this thing. And we're caught up in their confusion. We need to step back and look at our own Māori picture. The first reading is here, look. What God covers this way. They left foundations for us. We need to go back to our foundation and establish And it's simple, simple foundation. We don't need to be technical. We don't need a lot of technical philosophies to build our foundations. We have the land base, just the people are scattered. We need to bring them back to order. It's part of, part of the order is <coughs> and this our whakaros is for those who have passed on and those who are yet to come. We don't want that to in Those who are not here today. So we acknowledge them that are not here for their mahi we acknowledge them that are not here tinera, but that ngaka hari na kiroti rata katoa. Ke ke te haora popo mo matate tamariki moko puna. Ke ke rata hari na. I don't want my mokopunas working in Australia. Okay, this is their homeland. I want them working here. There's mahi here when you start coming, he says. Aka hori mea hana. Hore de mehina tini kea tātou katoa. Ko te tūmanao ki te paitahaira rau tātou rā. Te paitahaira rau tātou rā, i whakaaroro mo tātou katoa roto wene kupu i whārikinga te mōi atau. Whakaaroro mo tātou katoa. Hore de te maanga me ngana hira pono hongi atau wene kupu roto wene wa tātou mōi hui tini rā. Kau
Kiaromai <laughs> A great statesman once said, and I stood at the gate of years, and I said to them, to the man who stood at the gate of years, give me a light that I may walk into the unknown. And he said to me, go back into the unknown and put your hand in the hand of God, for it is better than any known way and safer than any, any way that's known. Got a list of fifty two names. Uh, signatories to the Whakaputanga. Gonna read them out one at a time. And if you're here, let us know. I can't see anybody, so. Give us a eye or kia ora, or do a haka or for your tupuna, whatever you want to do.
Hey, uh, Eruera Pare Pongi. Yeah. Ah, he was the scribe. <laughs> Number one, Pairata. Aye, sure. Aye. Ururua. Hare Hongi. Hi. Hemi Kepa Tupe. Hare Puaka. Waikato. <coughs> Titore. Kia ora. Moka. Kia ora. Whare rarhi. Rewa. Kia ora. Wai. Rewa ti atua haere. Awa. Wira mo tau nui. Toi tu te whenua. Te nana. Pi. Nō rā te mahuru hure. Te kaua. Tāreha. Kia ora. Are we doing moko? Wanna do something? Yes. Kimata. Next one, Kawati Pumoka Kekeau Tekemara Kunai Pumare Fifia Te tau. Kia ora. Marupo. Kia ora. Ai, kia ora. Kopiri. Kia ora. Parau. Ai. Te kere. Moitara. Kia ora. Kia ora. Hea moi. Pukututu. Te peha, 
Wani, we're a moo hecky. Nene, Tamati Wakan in it. The hoo hoo, Pana Kareo. Kiwi Kiwi. Titirarau. Mana Mutuaki. Hi Muna, Pita Matangi. Mohi Tafai. Mate Kairanga Tira. Mohi. Patuane. Parore. Te kaha Te morenga. Mahia. Te taonui. Papahia. Te hapuku. Te whero whero. Koena ngā ingoa. For the two pinners, the names that were read out. 65 names. I, I, I have my two pinners. Hey? The four of them are mine. Yeah, I know, but we will wait for all the others if we want to speak uh, up. I, I go first. Hey? I go first. No, 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 you wait for the chief, man. Don't step ahead of him because. Of course. You'll, 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 you'll wait for the old ones first. Hmm. You always wait for the old ones. Go last. In that order. In that order, all the old folks speak for this. Yeah, nice. Old ones. Ah, kia ora tātou katoa. Like that. 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 Like me o mate nei kara. I ngā rā e pāhuri ake nei. Ke te mahi i mātou ngā pauhere tanga. Me ngā ture e mea ana ke mahi ai. I roto i te māramo o te whiringa anuku. Rua te kaumāwaru. Wēno wēnei nā. Ngā pauhere tanga. Me ngā ture e mahingi a tātou mō tātou katoa. Kia mōi hio ai. Rātou mai, haka kino hi ana i a mātou. Whenua. Ko tātou. Ngā tangata whenua. O tēnei motu. O Aotearoa. Nā hi ana mātou, ki te haka takatou e nei, te tau o te papau nei. Ki moa te aro aro o tātou nei tūpuna. Ki te tarapu i au. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm with him. Yeah. Oh. Thank you.